when I was a little boy living in the mountain, the mountain was completely green, 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 green. There's a lot of animals, birds, insects, everything from the wild. People believe that Mount Gorongoso is a place where Noah left his ark. When I was a child, I wouldn't think that the mountain would change one day. I was thinking this is an everlasting life. My name is Tonga Torsida. I am 19 years old. I grew up near Mount Gorongoso and I have lived here all my life. This is Gorongoza National Park. My dream is to be a tour guide in the park in the future. This is my story. Gorongoza was a famous park in the 1960s. Tourists and movie stars would come to see the lions. In 1977, Mozambique started a civil war. Almost a million people died. During the war, people were fighting in Gorongoza. Some of the soldiers, they were living on the other side of the park. It was the biggest headquarters. Animals have been killing all of them, taking the meat to feed themselves because there was no food. And they killed them, all of them. But now, if they're starting coming back. Now, there's new hope for Gorongosa. So we're working with the government of uh, Mozambique to jointly manage this national park. U.S. entrepreneur Greg Carr is committing to conservation here in a way this continent has never seen. Altogether, our project is conservation of the park, restoration of species, even reforesting some areas, helping with agriculture, and then the social infrastructure of uh, schools and clinics. Today, Gorongoza National Park is one of the biggest conservation projects in Africa. Mozambique is one of the poorest countries in the world. Since when I was young, I wanted to be a tour guide, but I didn't know how to get a chance to be a tour guide. I don't know how this chance came is for me to get, to get up my dreams. So it was my first time to see white people in that place. It was the first time ever in your life? Exactly. <laughs> oh my, really? <laughs> I wanted to know, but what are these people coming to do here? Yeah. You're going to graduate from high school. This is the first time happening in my community. You're the first one? I'm the first one. Have you been doing some thinking about your profession? Uh, yeah. yeah. I was thinking to be a tour guide. But there's a lot of different possibilities. Yeah, yeah. There's tourism, there's science, community relations. Yeah. You could be good at that. You're the next generation to run this park. Nao, nao, Typical of all your rules. Green cool, cool. That's the sound that he produce. Mm. Right now, I'm, I'm learning about the wildlife, the birds and animals, plants. Mm. I like the animals, but the most one, the special one that I like, it's a lion. If people, they come from Europe or Australia, everywhere in the world, they say, I want to see lion, because lion is a very popular and very famous animal in the world. In my training for becoming a tour guide, I like doing this because I'll be learning a lot of things, you know, to correct my mistakes. I think this is a porcupine shit. See, you can see the difference between the porcupine tank and the 
bush pig dunks. Okay. For Gorongoza, I hope that will become one of the delightful national parks in Africa. This week, the big visitor is biologist, Eo Wilson. This is a new one for me. <laughs> We're in the river. You're in the Great Rift for the first time in your life, and you're looking at hippos. Well, I sure see that. That's wonderful. You have an amazing array here. I'd seen pictures of the Rift, but I never could have envisioned it like this. You know what it looks like to me? Paradise. Yes. That is just so beautiful. This park is in the Pleistocene, meaning you will see the world as it was 20,000 years ago. That makes it very special. At 82 years of age, when I stepped off the helicopter, I had the same feelings I used to have when I was 12 years old. Same feeling came back of excitement. I'm keen to get started. Oh, go out here's an introduction. This is Tonga. Ah, Tonga, so I'm glad to meet you, glad to meet you. especially in Mozambique. Thank you so much. I hear you are a great guide. And Some people say that your Wilson is the world's most important biologist. Park. Official. Everything, is in the everything. Everything is in the future for you. OK. <laughs> Meeting him, I'm very excited, very, very excited. Because we know that Mr. E. Wilson is an old man. I'm sure that he's starting passing his knowledge from person to person, or even from his own village. The same, like Mr. Earl Wilson now is going to be teach me. So, Mr. Wilson, yes. how do you do this? Catching spiders like this, how do you do this? Can, I, can you teach me to do this one? Sure, absolutely. That's good. That's good, that's good. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Uh, you did a good job sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> you did better than I did. Seven loot. Well, there are many, many kinds of small creatures unknown to science. So when you do research, you have to start finding out what they are. It's called taxonomy. That's what we're doing today. I got one here. OK. Boy, that's got a long sting. Look, ouch. Spiting you? Oh, don't you get stung. That's all right. <laughs> yes. Now we got it. I think this is Megaponera. Is a scientific name. What do you What do you call it? Uh, In English, we call it Matabella ants. Matabella. So, Mr. Wilson. Yeah. Why so do you like the small species, not lions or elephants, the big species? We know a lot about elephants. We know very little about these. You see. I want to tell you an amazing fact. Just ants alone, they would weigh four times as much as all of the Big animals, oh. you see? So that's why they're so important. So that's can you, please, can you, can you write it, man? Yeah. Yes. Small creatures run the world for Tonga. We've been focused on the big animals, and they're very important. But when you consider that the Civil War resulted in the soldiers destroying the big animals, they didn't destroy all the little stuff. Therefore, Agorangosa has on a platform a very sound natural environment. Poacher used these snares. It's very dangerous. This animal put he the head. It's coming quick here. This animal is dead. Yes, One, six, six, two, three, four, five, six. So, the last operation of the Korean the past year, we captured seven furtivos per year, more or less. Three million animals. 
This morning I met those poachers who are doing illegal hunting. When they were captured, they give them these simple works. Maybe they are repaying the damage that they've caused. Because the filament is <laughs> getting jaw work, got it. Next about, but in December we must get them on. We go to the bench, we just see. We shall bury. We must not turn away. We must not do that. We must film and record and do no image. When I met Mr. Gray, he said the purpose of the project is to create tourism and also jobs for the local people. We improved a lot the relationship that we have with these communities. The main issue now is um, a matter of providing them actual benefits that can be right. spread. You and I both really like Tonga. Tonga is uh, an amazing boy. He can be perfectly be a role model uh, yeah. for the other kids. Is he ready and what would be the next step? Estava a dizer que nós estamos satisfeitos porque nesta reunião estão os pais e as mães. Porque nós pedimos este encontro que era para fazermos balanço do nosso trabalho, não é? Somos unidos, não é? Parque e comunidade têm que ser cada vez mais unidos. Então, a maneira da nossa união, de fazer a verdadeira esta nossa união, é desta maneira aqui. Mr. Mateo is a very good man. He would be teaching me how to, how to have a good relationship with the communities and other people. As ideias dela diz aquilo que pensa, isso é bom. Muito obrigado, chefe. Muito obrigado, Marcos. Ok, então, antes mesmo de nós acabarmos a reunião, ah, então também vim, como sabem, hoje com este jovem, Tonga Torcida. Ele mora na Serra da Gorongosa, nasceu lá, está a crescer lá, não vamos dizer que já cresceu, não é? Está a crescer lá. Ele é, é um menino que fala muitas línguas, não é? Vamos <risos> Vamos desculpar daquilo que eu não consegui falar. The Gongos are restoration project. They don't take the money and just give the peoples in their hands. No, it could be building a school or a clinic. You see, it belongs to everyone who lives around the park. Our ancestors, a hundred thousand years ago, were hunting in a place just like this, except we are hunting for scientific oh, knowledge. Wow. So, so we are science but, hunters. But, but the same feeling, we are hunters. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we are hunters. We are hunting. <laughs> Symbiosis. It means, in biology, you live together intimately. Mutualism means that the relationship is good for both species. I don't know how to say it. How do I feel? Working with Professor Wilson, for me, you see, I feel like, I feel like I'm in the library. This is a Professor Wilson is a human library. And that is, uh, I thought I saw Catholicus over here. Mm -hmm. 
And this is uh, tetrapona. Three kinds of ants. Yeah, I'll write them for you. Okay. I'll write them for I'll you later. Yeah. Sure. There are ten ways of ants to communicate in themselves. People are like ants, and ants are like people. People are communicating, ants they are communicating. People they are feeding, ants are feeding. I didn't know those things that is happening. But from Professor Wilson, I knew. We have just begun to explore nature. We know only about 1.9 million species, and that might seem like an enormous number, but the actual number is probably at least 10 times that. Goran Goza amplifies the importance of nature. But what is nature? It's the part of the world that doesn't need us, and it was there before we came along. Mount Gorongosa, always been a mystery about that mountain. The mountain is almost unique in African parts. Its uh, height allows it to maintain what's still pristine rainforest, unexplored for the most part by biologists. Mount Gorongosa represents the place where the spirits prepare the rains and provide prosperity for the farmers. People are destroying, at a very frightening pace, the forest. All of this water that the animals are drinking are coming from the mountain. So if they cut down the trees, the water will dry it out. People that are cutting down the trees on the mountain because they want to grow up crops, they want to make fields. Some of them, they want to take it to make a charcoal, they make chocolates to sell it, because they don't, they don't have another way to make money. At the moment now we are close to my house. This forest, maybe 50% it has been gone from since when I was born. Farming is good, but not like this. Damn. Mm. Completely gone. Most of the people who live close to the mountain, they know me. Some of them, they have been asking me, says, Tula, why are this project telling us to not cut down these trees? So I think they're still training and telling them what is going to happen if you do this and this. So I'm not, I'm not happy, I'm, I'm really angry. Tourists, they want to see the trees, they want to see birds, they want to see animals. So if people keep cutting down the trees, nobody's going to come here. When I was a little boy, when I wake up in the early morning, you see at the mountain there's, it's covered by clouds, but now there's no more clouds. You see everywhere it's brown, brown, brown. Only you see the ground and the dead trees. What is really making me sad is that people, when they are growing up their crops at the mountain, they don't think about the future. The children are the ones who's gonna stay with the mountain. Do you know why they're doing like this? They're missing a lot of knowledge. So if there's no one who's gonna help with this knowledge to those local people, I don't think the mountain will live more than five years, it will disappear. The next 50 years are the make or break years for humanity and nature. We will make the big decision of whether we will keep nature or remove it. Professor Wilson is going to conduct what is called a bioblitz on Mount Gorongosa. A bioblitz is a combined social event, celebration, and search for every kind of species within a certain radius. So we invited people of the area, mostly children, to celebrate biodiversity studies on the mountain. Yeah. Good. Thank you. 
Uh, today we are going to work together. Leo tunasebenza tinsene. Yeah. To uh, find little creatures all around to bring them to me <laughs> and I will give the name in science. This allows you to show what you found to people everywhere. So you will be doing science. Yeah. No, sir, thank you. All right, let's begin. I didn't expect much yeah. virtuosity okay. from little kids. Of course, I should have known better. The whole thing was performed with a gusto I have never seen. A spider. Oh, very good. All right. And what we have here is a wolf spider. Put it back in the thing, and I make a record here. Yeah, isn't that magnificent? This is a Lycaenid butterfly, Parachychina. Ichneumonidae, that's another grasshopper, but uh, it is another species, good for you. Mm -hmm. When we were at the mountain, everyone who brings anything which belongs to insect classes. We, uh, Professor Wilson will give you a name in a second. Oh, that's a good one, that's a Staphylinid, a Heteropodidae, giant crab spider. That's tetragnatha. Yeah, tetragnatha. It's uh, tetragnatha. I don't know how he is still keeping those things in his mind. Very, very amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. That's an ichneumonid parasitic wasp. Family ichneumonidae. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be like that, but that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Who got this? Oh, you got it. Okay, good. Very good. Huh? Who did this one? This is a great collection. Yeah. Uh, very good. Very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah, very good. Oh, look, this is going big time now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And look at this. Woo. Holy mackerel. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is crazy, it's going crazy now. Oof. As I sat at that table with the um, little kids pressing on me to hand me their treasures that they had found, one of them came up holding a creature I could not identify. Uh, the, uh... You've got a grandpa thing, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, wait a minute, hold it. Wow, wow, holy. How? It was big, it was dark, it was flat. It had great arms, like some kind of small mechanical cranes. And I was astonished. This is, a com I, this is completely unknown to me. It was also exciting for me because I use it to see it before in the water. But if I check on my books, I don't see them. Oh, we had it being in your species up here. We were, yeah. we'll take it to the library. Where is, uh, who, who found this? This, this guy, right guy here. here. Tonga. Huh? Do you buy the chin? Yeah. Shake hands, shake hands, shake hands. It's good him, you. Kid. it's him. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good. You better man say, I'm gonna Tell him it is the best of the day. Wow. Because I don't know what it is. Very exciting. Something new for you? I think what we have here is the third Twelve orders, 42 families, 61 species, and I'll bet some of those species are new to science. All right, big success. <laughs> if I go at mountain with some visitors, I could tell them that I was there elsewhere, and I was a translator of Mr. E. Wilson. One of the things I want to see happen is the appreciation of wildlife that isn't just the big animals, but the smaller creatures. 
because of the joy and the depth of pleasure you get when you do see the world that way as species, endless in variety, each special in its own. There is endless surprise, endless depth of understanding. It's like what has been called the magic well. Uh, nature is. The more you draw from it, the more there is to draw. To speak of uh, the love of nature, it may seem naive, a bit touchy-feely, uh, but it is not. It is our deep history we're talking about here. Filling out what it means to be human and to get the fullest pleasure of just being human. We are species built to seek the fulfillment of life, shall we say, the quality of life. And that's what parts are all about. Those kids can pick up on um, just the same thing. They just need hope, a few role models. You know, I wanted to ask you one question I, I've yeah. been meaning to. What do you want to become? I wanted to be a tourist guide. But in the study, when I was learning, I was learning, learning, and I've been meeting lots of biologists, people, lots of ecologists, lots of scientists. In, yeah. You see, from the, what they were teaching me, yeah. I started seeing that, ah, to become a tourist guide is not a so good idea. Let me change my idea. I want to become a biologist. You see, most of people in Gorongosa, they want to become a tour guide. So who is yeah. gonna who is gonna learn those things which are not identified yet? Mm -hmm. If there's no biologist, yeah. who is gonna teach them? Yeah. You see, as you know, biologists, as you said yesterday, the biologist is the beginning of life. Yeah. The reason why I decided. I got you. You made the right choice. Thank you and very I'll much. And I'll tell you so. because what you have done is to see beyond. You know, learn biology, and you're right. You can go elsewhere you can go other places you can bring people here you can talk about new things don't give up you go i want to know after all in all what is your favorite animal you see in this huge park in this big game reserve there's a lot of species but my favorite animal it's a small bird which is called emerald spot the wood dove ah yeah why you see emerald spotted wood dove i like so much his songs when he's calling, he said, my mom is dead, my father is dead, my brother is dead, my sister is dead. You see, he said, please help me, help me, help me. You see, you'll be mentioning everyone. You see, when he's calling, if I hear his calling, yeah. I, I, I feel like we are in the same level with him. The reason why I like him, that's my favorite animal. <laughs> OK. That's what my favorite animal is. I love animal, it. You know awesome. why? <laughs> okay, I was going to tell you mine. Well, I oh, have to tell you mine now. And what about you, Dr. I can't Wilson? Even, I can't even come close. Oh, wow. Okay, I kind of love the Cape Guff Buffalo. Oh, wow. They're big. They're strong. Yeah. They're independent. But maybe that's the wrong attitude to take. Well, I don't know. Anyway, that was <laughs> yeah, the one yeah. that came to my mind, you know. Yeah, yeah. But that's, you, well, yours is a beautiful one. Oh, I, couldn't, I couldn't thank help but admire nice. that. When I wanted to become a tourist guide, I was thinking that my favorite animal was a lion, because it was a big animal. You see, I wanted to make happy all the guests that come to Gorongosa because they want to see the big animals. But now, when I started understanding about nature, there's lots of things that need to be taken care of. The trees, the flowers, the insects. There is no choose. I should say everything. You see, the bird, when he's singing, he says, who is going to stay with me? Please help me, help me, help me. My family, who are contributing in cutting down the trees, making fields on the slopes of the mountain, it means they're killing, are killing the mountain, you see. So I'll be sad. I'll be like I'm there. You see, I'll, I'll be feeling like I'm alone. I'm talking with them, but they are not understanding me.
I want everyone to get the same level of knowledge. I don't want to be separated. Life is beginning is up here. As Dr. Wilson was saying, our ancestors, they yeah. come from the same area in Africa. Yeah. He likes you. I, I like him too. I have learned a lot from him. Yeah. I didn't know how to identify insects, uh, but from him, now I know. When you make an identification, do you enjoy that? For sure, with no doubt. I like it so much. Yeah. A lot. But yeah. what I'm doing, it's like I'm just hanging up on the top of the notch. I'm not getting deep, you deep as go much. You I want go, to go deep, You deep. want to go inside yeah. nature. Inside nature and starting from the roots, the good leaves, yeah, huh? and the flowers. Yeah, you want, to, want to find the, the, yeah. the mysteries. Mm -hmm. You need to go away to school. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I didn't think that you would take the dreamers of scruffy young men like as me. We were all scruffy young men, and some of us are scruffy old men. <laughs> when we take the kids to the safari, we'll be showing them animals they've never seen before. This is their first time. I want to share my knowledge to everyone. Maybe it could be spread to somewhere else in Mozambique. From person to person, from generation to generation, you see. I would like my kids to live in a natural environment. I don't want my kids to just to read it on a book. Gorongos in the past, they used it to be lots of rains. Gorongos in the past, they used it to be lots of animals. Or It's not what I want. I would like my kids to see it in their time.